welcome back to another episode on our tracks this might be my favorite one of all time slightly biased because of how dear and near this specific hunt is to my heart and how long i've been waiting how long i've been waiting to do this hunt so with all that said let's get into it Considering telling this hunting story, just literally like I'm sitting down telling you guys a story. And uh, I think that's the proper way to do it. So I'm here at our family's hunting lodge, Quest Haven. This is an exciting time of year because we're getting ready. We're getting geared up. We're scouting. We're finding big bucks here at Quest Haven. But this year in particular was a little bit more exciting for one individual. As you know from the past episodes, I got to go hunt with Wade Lemon hunting, uh, and better yet, Kalen Lemon, Wade Lemon's son, infamous guide, legendary feller out there in the west. Kind of like me on the east, right? So here's what happened. We got up early, I flew in, right? There was a specific buck we were going after. And that buck, they have pictures of him for four years. So I'm just gonna show you a couple pictures right now from way back in like 2018, 19, and this year, 2020, which is by far his best year when it comes to how good of a buck he was. This was the year he needed to go down, take a dirt nap. So a large amount of respect for this buck. They believe he was four the first year they got pictures, which means he was an eight year old buck. Now here's the problem with an eight year old buck. He's nocturnal. <laughs> Just like whitetails here in the East Coast, the big smart ones are alive for a reason. And a lot of times it's because they're nocturnal. Kalen and I, we set out early in the morning. We were going to take a buggy up into the mountains uh, a ways but we weren't able to do that whenever between us and where we were going there was a bunch of bucks in the field so instead we had to go on foot and that's where the story kicks off kaylin and i got settled into the blind we were enjoying the morning and we fully expected this buck to come in when we could pretty much not see him right at shooting light we were hoping we would get a shot i bought a one-way ticket so I could fly home and however long it took me to do this hunt, I was willing to do it. This was the opening morning. I was fully expecting this buck to come in in the dark. We, we left at 2 a.m. because we wanted to be in there early. That way, if he came in in the night, we wouldn't mess him up. We got in the stand and, we're, and for me, I'm not a Western guy. So I'm enjoying all the little critters that I'm not used to seeing like these jackrabbits and weird looking bunnies. And for no time, we were covered up in some bucks. We don't have footage of it because it was dark, dark, dark. Now, these bucks out of nowhere spooked themselves. The wind was in our favor, right? They weren't looking at us. I don't think it had anything to do with us. Maybe it did. These bucks just spook out of nowhere. They blow and run off. But the target buck was not in the group. So we were hopeful. But Kaylin said, you know what? The fireworks are over. You know, that buck comes in in the dark. It is now daylight and he's not here, but let's just wait a little while longer. So now we're just taking in the view, enjoying our time. I'm, I'm enjoying a foreign land, Utah, right? Way different than Pennsylvania. I'm just enjoying being up in the Utah mountains and uh, expecting this morning to be done, right? That the fireworks happen, it's over and a doe comes in. So this doe, Kaylin said, look, this doe is on camera all the time. So don't get your hopes up. She's always here. And uh, before you know it, some more bucks start coming in from behind her. And the first time in this deer's history, he showed up in daylight on my first day, my first hunt in Utah. He decided to not be nocturnal. God is good. <laughs>
smoked him. Smoked him. Freaking smoked him. <laughs> Shut up. That was in the bread basket, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you gotta be Dude, great shot, buddy. Great <laughs> shot. Did you see that? Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm shaking so bad. I can't even like, hardly talk. There's like my voice is like waving. <laughs> So good, dude. You had to hold that draw for like a minute. That was a long. That was a long oh, hold. Did you see how? Did you see how bad I was shaking? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was, I was, that's why so, I, was, I don't know if you did. I was telling you, just let out, let out, let out. Yeah. When he turned and yeah. walked away, I was like, I have to let down. Hey, dude. We did. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> dude, first morning. That's he, the, that's the a, that's the latest this deer's ever came in on them cameras. Yeah, he's always in the dark. He's always been in the dark. Dude, dude, dude it was kind of a crapshoot. You wow. just see if he'd show. Wow, we dude, got, it looked we like got, you smoked him. I think we got great penetration. Like, dude, we are. We, we got are blessed golden. this morning, dude. That that so where I hit him, and I could be wrong. Even if I hit him with a field point, I probably should have killed him. Oh, yeah. I hope. I hope. Wow, dude, I don't even know how to react right now. I'm literally. It's like my brain can't even function right now. It's like such a big bodied, mature thing too. Yeah. There's so much adrenaline going through my body right now. <laughs> <that> like, <laughs> That's uh, insane, dude. He's he's nice. Oh uh, yeah. Like we the, 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 like he looked awesome in the trail cam pictures, uh -huh. but he looked way nicer in person. Because uh -huh. <laughs> I, I guess for me the hard part is just uh, that big gray body, deep chest. Yeah, deer that's ex that's yep. exactly it. So for me, I'm so used to white tails, and then seeing them mule deer in person, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're they're huge. <laughs> they're way way bigger than what I expected. <sighs> Mustache got it. <laughs> Boom! Probably <laughs> kept the handlebars. Good shot, I, Sanchez. Yeah. <laughs> There's no way I could have took a 40 yard shot like that without a mustache. <laughs> so, that's awesome. Dude, I, Dude I, don't, I, I don't even have a clue, but I'm glad that you had the pin figured out. <laughs> well, so get this. So when we were shooting yesterday, uh -huh. right before we left, yeah. I figured out that the 40 yard pin is actually my, my green pin. The is bottom. it really? Yeah. It is. So right when he walked up, and you were like, hey, he's at 40. I was like, dude, I'm just mm -hmm. gonna throw Hail Mary. I'm gonna put the green pin on him. And uh, I squeezed off. Dude, and it's so funny, 40 and yards is like my starter. My my seven, year, my seven year old shoots 40. Dude, I'm a Pennsylvania boy. <laughs> we don't take 40 yard shots. <laughs> we, we, we shoot down, yeah. on, we shoot five yard shots right? down. Right? Dude, I couldn't, I couldn't hit myself at five yards. I yeah. Know, so. oh, oh, good my stuff. <laughs> Wow, I am on cloud nine right now. Mm. Dude, I, this morning when we woke up, I was so sick. Okay. I was like, I was trying to follow Kay, Kaylin, which is hard enough. Mm. And uh, it wasn't that bad of a walk. It's just, I felt like crap. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what the heck it was. I don't know if it's just the terrible lack of sleep and then teasing my body with two more hours. Mm. Or if it was just I ate something that just didn't settle right because it felt like I just needed to throw up, but it took about till about oh about an hour ago I said hey I'm starting to feel better, and then that deer walked when he walked out I saw the doe and I was going to ask you hey do they ever mm -hmm. they ever you know follow a doe that one doe's on this camera like 24 hours so a day you, so it was just like, like ah, no yeah. big yeah no big deal no big deal but when that other buck come up here was, yeah. So I'm sitting there like phone scoping the doe, like this is cool. I'm getting footage of a doe, <laughs> and you're like, <laughs> and I, I, the first one wasn't him, was it? it was no, no, no. One. Yep, second, second one was him. So I saw the first one. I'm like, dude, I shoot that buck. It was pretty nice deer. Yeah, and uh, and then I saw him come up behind. I'm like, yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. him. That's gotta be him. Dude, I wore my lucky shirt today. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. It's from like the '60s, I think. Yeah. Oh mm. my gosh. Good morning. <laughs> wow. This Utah is awesome. You know it. Do my best not to stab myself. That'd be mm. great. Last thing I need is a stab. What do you think, Kevin? We'll just go down here. We'll check his blood. We'll get him lined out. We'll uh, just see if he's right here. He shouldn't be far, but 
We won't push it too hard. If he's wind very far, we'll back out and give it a while. Okay. Most of the arrow. the mechanical Spitfire has opened up. Looks like he broke it off the shoulder blade. Blood all the way to the knock. We'll take that. I think we got good penetration. We'll be right through the fence here. That's a, that's a blood trail, buddy. That's a blood trail. Sure, you can. <laughs> He's crashed right over this tree. Oh, yeah, right there he is. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. There he is. Yes. Dude, he is a hoss. He is a hoss. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Man, my first muley. <laughs> wow, man. <laughs> Busted his valve a little coming through there. Yeah, you get a little bit, dude. Wow. That buck is awesome. Look at all the character he's got. Man, I, I love those flyers. Dude, and we have like four years on him, too. You know, yeah. like he's probably an an easy seven and a half year old deer. So he's like old, old. That's as so mature as they get for sure. You wouldn't want him to go another year probably. It's his best year for sure. So no, it's like awesome. Wow. Them extras on that side. That split beam. Uh-huh. That's amazing. That left side's incredible. He's got a nice, He's got a studly left side. Nice deep split. He's got flyers coming off. You would call this a four, right? Yep, yeah, that'd be his G4. Real nice four. <laughs> wow. Kalen, thank you so much, buddy. This is one of the highlights of my life. So I've been wanting to kill a mule deer for over a decade. And it's almost kind of surreal sitting here holding them. So this is, this is absolutely, it's like, it is everything I, I hoped and dreamed it would be and more. So it, it couldn't have worked out any better. Right there he is, ladies and gentlemen. My first muley. Look at that guy. So Kalen has trail cam pictures for what, four or five years? At least four. At least four years. Mm -hmm. And he is guessing this buck to be eight years old. And he said this is definitely his best year. So he's definitely mature. And man, he's a stud. Look at that. Just look at it. Look at the length. I think one of my favorite things is how long his fours are. <laughs> Look at that. Split beam. Wow. Look at all the character on this side. Nice deep split on this side. Flyers. Whoo! Look at that shot. I don't, I don't think I could have hugged the shoulder any tighter. Thank you, Lord. Wow. 
Wow. Guys, I'm just kind of getting some time here to myself. Um, Kaylin went to go grab the buggy and try to get it up here as far as he could before we have to drag it out super far or, you know, field dress him up here, backpack him out. So, but man, I just finally had a chance to kind of sit here and reflect on what happened. And um, I do think it's important in times like this to kind of sit back and try to soak it in. There's been times in my life where I've shot animals and everything was kind of rushed. And then the, the, the experience came and went and I didn't get to kind of soak in it. But I'm just sitting here in the Utah mountains and I'm soaking it in. And uh, I just, I feel so blessed. And I don't even know how to fully convey that to the level of, of you know, I just feel, I almost feel unworthy. Um, and then in the same token, I feel an, a, a crazy amount of gratitude um, for being able to come after this animal. It was largely done, uh, you know, Russ and Lori uh, were a big part of this hunt you know, happening. And then, uh, Wade and Kaylin, um, they, they set it up and, and, uh, put me on their own personal lease. So I'm very, very blessed and grateful for everybody that was part of this. I wish so bad that my wife was here with me. Um, that's the one thing, if I could change one thing, I would love to have Heather here with me to share the moment. Um, she's, she's pumped. I've been texting the whole family and I showed them the kill shot and uh, some pictures that we took and everybody's just ecstatic. So, um, I'm just going to continue to sit here and soak it up. Just take it all in, process it. And, uh, cause I, there's a really good chance I'll never shoot a buck like that ever again in my life. So God is good. Buck was standing right in here whenever I sunk the old meat missile in him right back there. Probably sounded really similar to Thwack! venison tonight boom yeah coming down off the mound today is a good day pulling around some good weight Boom. Always wanted to do that. 
23 and 3. 3 and 5. G1, G3. I'm at 11 and 2. Take it. 4, 13. I can get 1 and 3 out of it. That'll go towards his typical frame. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Ready? All right, we're adding it up. We added all the numbers together twice, and we had multiple people putting the numbers together to be sure that the score was what it was. And I had myself a 200 inch mule deer. Nice. You did it again. <laughs> you missed a whole beam or something. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Good job, man. It's gonna be hard to beat. Yeah, he's gonna be awesome on the wall with all my white tails. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna crush their frames. Guys, I can't say enough about Wade Lemon hunting. If you're looking for a hunt out west or even down in Sonora, Mexico, you need to get a hold of Wade or Caitlin. I'm gonna put their numbers here on the screen. It might be better to leave them a voicemail or text them because these guys are constantly out looking for the best animals possible. Um, they are extremely networked all through the west. Um, they have eyes and ears everywhere. So if you want a true trophy animal, a special animal, you need to get a hold of Wade or Caitlin. And uh, these guys, they're gonna treat you good. They are the best, take my word for it. Guys, thank you for watching the episode. We really appreciate your support. So as you know, most of these hunting videos, they get demonetized. So the best way to support us is to support our sponsors. And this week's sponsor uh, is Federal Ammunitions. So they are a big supporter of ours, a big supporter of the channel. They are what allow us to continue making these videos for you guys and making these episodes. So support us by supporting them. There's a link in the bio. Go down and get yourself some ammo. I know it's selling fast. Join us next week when fellow YouTuber Bridget Fable shows us how to cook mule deer backstraps. And then we reveal what Utah taxidermist we chose to mount our buck.